do we mean by the word communicate? Arthur? Like talking to each other. Possibly that's one thing. Let's, that's the idea. There's loads of other ways in which they communicate. We'd rather do a mind map, the ways in which people communicate. The big one, Arthur's already given us straight away, it's talking. There are other ones as well. Really think about it. Get specific. We have some hands up and some ideas. We'll start with you, Ava. What, what have you got? Yeah, that's an enormous way. In fact, they say, is it something like the percentage of communication which they say is verbal and non-verbal? And so much of what we say is emphasised by how we look and, and, and when we hold ourselves. So like, I could say something to you and the way my face looks would make you read it entirely differently. Like, we had a conversation about you like your book. And like, kind of laugh because you know what's annoying. I look serious, but I don't want to across that. Yeah? So that's huge and an excellent point. Harry? Dungeon. Yeah, these are expressive arts of communication, they're more obscure than, say, speaking to someone. Um, if you go a bit more obvious now, these are all clever, very clever, I've already tried to be too clever. Let's go for some more obvious answers. Those are all correct and they're very, very good. Yeah? Those are signals, out there. Writing is also a form of communication, um, Arthur. Um, phoning, yeah. texting. Phoning and texting. I think text message is a huge one. So there's loads of ways to communicate on loads of different levels. 